Hello, everybody. Uh, I am so happy to be with you today because I've got, a, I've got a gym. I found another gym for our community. Uh, my name is William Randolph, and I'm here with a uh, colleague of mine, Mr. Gary Wheeler, who is the Chief Operating Officer of CORE CLM. And CORE CLM has a very interesting problem that they are solving. They've, they've built some tools and strategies. So first, Gary, welcome. And then let's talk about the challenge, the problem, contract reviews and contract compares. Let's talk about it a little bit. What's the problem there? All right. Well, thank you so much, William, for letting me come on to your podcast today. It's always a pleasure to see and talk with you again. So yes, we're, we're here today to talk about a problem that I'm sure none of the government contractors you work with have. <laughs> They all have very simple contracts that they're working with, right? With right. The government. <laughs> yeah, right. We all we both know better than that. <laughs> so what we're here with Core CLM, we have some applications that can help them make that process go faster, more efficiently, smoother, and save them some dollars. Given our inflationary environment, everybody nice. wants to do that, right? Nice. Okay, so what is what do they look like when, it, when we talk about contracting? contract reviews, as well as contract comparing, that challenge of taking two documents, reviewing one, identifying aspects. What, what, are, the, what are your salient characteristics of the, of, the, of the tools that you are bringing to the marketplace? Okay, well, let's talk about two different aspects of that, if I may. Yeah. First is just contract compare. So you're going through negotiations, working with, uh, if you're a government contractor, you're working with, a, with the uh, federal government in this case, or you may be a subcontractor, you're working with a prime. So those contracts are lengthy and complex. Yeah. So typically, we're most useful within the legal department of your company, where you may have lawyers, you may have paralegals, they may have outside counsel they're working with. So you're bringing those contracts in and we have developed artificial intelligence and machine language to go in and review those contracts and mm. analyze them and extract out information. So that's really what we're doing. We make it more efficient. We're extracting out up to 41 different clauses 41. that they can wow. pick and select. Uh, and we're adding more all the time, but these are the ones that we've worked in conjunction with it's a project called the Atticus Project, which also worked with Sanford Law School to define these 41 different types of clauses or information. So it may be like things like governing law, you right. know, that you want to quickly go in and find. It goes through those, reads those contracts typically in a minute or less, depending on how long the contract is and how many clauses you have, extracts that information, and then allows you, you as a paralegal, a lawyer, to quickly review that. Um, and say, therefore saving you time and effort and money, especially if you're going to outside counsel. The second piece, which is what you specifically asked me about, is called contract compare. And that's exactly what you think it is, right? Um, you've got an old, let's say you've got an old contract that you're working with, and it doesn't have to be everything related to the federal government. It could be any contract that you have. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a purchasing agreement yeah. that you're working on. Construction or something. Construction. Yeah. That's yeah. right. You name it. You you know all kinds of different contracts that <laughs> yeah. your audience works with. Could be anything, but maybe you have a template. You know, almost every company has some kind of template, no matter how small that they start from. So maybe you have that, and then you've got a con you've got another party, a third party sending you a contract to review. So you can compare both of those contracts once again using any one of those 41 clause types and directly pull that information out into a table format that allows you to easily review and compare those items. Therefore, once again, saving you time and effort, but also from the legal standpoint, what's most important to most lawyers? What do they think about? Where's their brain go? You compliance. Know? Part compliance, of compliance. And part of compliance is risk management. Gotcha. That's something yep. that every lawyer thinks about, and that's their primary emphasis, more so than the business terms and conditions. Got it. So by able to quickly pull out those clauses, they could have accidentally overlooked them in a large, lengthy contract, especially and yet we're able to go off and with a very high degree of accuracy, find those clauses for them to make sure from a compliance standpoint, consistency standpoint, that they find those items and review them. That makes total sense. So this is really a tool for 
law law offices, small, maybe even large law offices, maybe the procurement, um, excuse me, the office function, the legal function of a large organization, looking at the predecessor, maybe taking a predecessor contract and comparing it to what the new requirements are and doing a, a puts and takes, seeing what's different, what needs to change, what needs to stay the same. That, that seems like a, a, a viable use case. Man, you are sharp. You picked up on it right away. <laughs> yes, the primary core audience is either medium, small and medium sized businesses and large businesses as well, but also law firms, because obviously they're outside outside councils, what a lot of people call that, the law sure. firms. They're reviewing a lot of commercial agreements specifically yeah. uh, on behalf of their clients, and this could speed up their processing. So yeah, typically cool. these are products that are they're small. They're easy to implement, unlike large, complex solutions out there. I, I've been, listen, I've done that almost all my life. There, there's plenty of contract lifecycle management products out there that have some of these things, especially if they have artificial intelligence, but yeah. they're expensive to yeah. purchase. They're expensive to implement. Our solution is a more smaller, defined niche of the marketplace, specifically focusing on these areas virtually no implementation, it's really just a username and password and virtually no training, which I know you don't like because you're the training <laughs> master. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> but I'm we, pro training. That's right. You're very pro training <laughs> and we really appreciate that. But there's really, it's so easy to use There's virtually no training with this product. So that's also great. And it's reasonable cost, cost about uh, about what one hour or so of outside counsel would typically charge in a month wow. or so that's a wow. that's a real plus so um for per user yes yeah. and, and could be a force multiplier for offices that are that's doing a lot of activity it's, it's not just a one-on-one -on -one hour for outside counsel but probably an office could say yeah we can move more things through the system because it's not requiring as much touch time absolutely so if yeah. you've got some in if you're Besides, depending on the size of your company, if you've got some paralegals working there or you've got some large, typically what would happen is uh, a paralegal may quickly review a contract first and review the pieces that they're comfortable with. And then they may identify some information or clauses in there that they want to pass on to more experienced attorney. Um, this streamlines that whole process. So even if they don't use outside counsel, it can make those inside, internal uh, law department personnel more efficient because the paralegals can quickly go to the items that they can review and then mark and identify the items that need to be passed on to the experienced lawyer. So here you go. So a couple of benefits. Number one, much faster turnaround when you're doing contract review, plain and simple, because they can, they can review these contracts much faster. Number two, it saves them money. Anything that makes it faster and more efficient typically is going to save them money um, because it takes less time to, to review a contract. Um, and then number three, you also get to reduce the risk associated with that by making sure you're always pulling out and looking at those risky type clauses. And then actually also helps indirectly or directly with compliance as a result of that. So you don't miss something and keep yeah. consistency in there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool stuff. So I know we've been talking theoretical and, and the theory makes sense, you know, from a, from a, from a concept perspective, but I think, I don't know if you might've noticed about me, but I'm a, I'm a visual guy. I got, I like to have pictures. So have something that you want to share with us that you could lay this out. And then we can talk a little bit more about the, the nuances of the two tools. Absolutely. I'm a visual person too. So it's great to see things because we can talk about it all day long, but until you see it, it's sometimes hard to get a grasp. Absolutely. On that. Absolutely. So let me share my screen real quick. Okay. Got just a couple of slides. Once again, our company is Core CLM. Let me put in the presentation mode. <laughs> and, uh, you know, really what we have is a variety of different applications to automate and streamline your contracting processes. The two that we're primarily focusing on today is legal AI with a single contract review and the contract compare. We do have some other products as well. In fact, you've had my co-founder on the on your podcast before for the Turbo NDA. A lot of Absolutely. people were interested in that. So that's a product we've got. So uh, Gary, it's, have... not, it's not presenting. So I just want to make sure that you are okay. you sharing. Oh, have you got the got the share, the, the two button share? Zoom is temperamental. There we go. It helps if you hit that share button. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> sometimes. It's sometimes. A little, little button at the end down there. <laughs> Thank you for uh, letting me know that, William. I appreciate right. it. Because, you know, I've been all in right. technology all my life. But, it, you know, it's funny when you've got technical people who still mess up, right? Shows we're all humans, you know? That's so. right. That's right. <laughs> So there's Corsi LM. Here's what I was talking about, our products, the legal AI, the two that we're specifically talking about today is a single contract review and contract compare. Uh, and I'll spend a little bit more time talking about those, but we do have that NDA generation tool. We have something that, uh, that some of your, a lot of your um, podcast listeners will be very interested in. That's called SmartGov that gets into all of those complex federal regulations, the FAR requirements, and, yeah. and my goodness, how complex. The matrix. Yeah. The FAR matrix. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll maybe get a chance if you, to come back onto your podcast in the future and let my uh, co-founder talk about that and some other That's products great. we have. But let's just dive in real quick to the single contract review. We've talked about this. So... You know, the use case here is you may have, uh, uh, obviously, you're doing negotiations with another party and you want to bring in their contract and look at that for risk or compliance or other reasons. Um, so it's pretty simple. Like I said, this is why there's not a lot of training. You go in and sign into the application. There's a contract review screen. You choose your file that could be on your share file drive. It could be on your hard drive, wherever your file is located, you could get to it. It can be a word document file is typically what you're working with at that point of negotiations, but you can yep. also do PDF files. Um, then you go in and select specifically which clauses you want to go look at. In this case, we've just got some examples of anti-assignment, audit rights, and cap on liability, but there's 41 different mm. clauses you can look at. And you select those and then you say run. And it spins through that in about a 10 Just page. Spits document. it out. Pardon me? Just spits it out. It spits it out yeah. very quickly. On 10 page document, it'll come back in less than a minute. If you got about wow. a 50 page document and maybe 15 or 20, 30 clauses you look at, it may take three or four minutes. Okay. Wow. Actually, we have an example over here. We actually have done testing on a hundred page contract for 10 clauses that came back in about five minutes. Wow. Okay. But That's if you amazing. were having a lawyer or a paralegal review that, that could take them days. Days. <laughs> you yeah. That because it's large, complex. So you're Absolutely. specifically pulling out that. And by the way, we're not replacing lawyers. Okay. The lawyers do a great job at what they do. They do the interpretation of the information in the contract. And sometimes they need to look around at the surrounding area. So we're not yeah. attempting to replace them. We're just making the process faster. Yeah. So when those results come back, it tells you the name of the contract, what clause you have. If you're not sure about it, to, to a lay person may want to run this as well. It can tell you the details of what's audit rights in this case mean. It gives you a description of that. And then it directly pulls out that um, clause straight from the contract and puts it on your screen here. And cool. this doesn't show it, but typically we also show a page number down here. So if you want to go directly look at the contract and see what page that is, it will actually write to it. That's pretty right cool. And then you can also extract that information to an Excel file point. I'm sorry, Excel file. <laughs> Excel <laughs> file and do whatever you want to, to make up, mark it up, make notes on it, and then go back. And ultimately that helps with the redlining and updating of the contract. Nice. So that's when we've got one contract. All right. What else you got? Okay. It's pretty much, and these are, by the way, the 41 different clause types that we Ooh. hold today. And um, obviously, if it's a contract being negotiated, you won't have yet an agreement date or, um, or maybe even the parties and stuff identified yet. But if it's an executed contract, you would have that. Uh, but, but a lot of things you're doing through the uh, negotiation stage, you may have any of these other items. And there's different things depending on what type of contract it is. So your renewal terms almost always going to be something somebody wants to look at. There are uncapped liability, the um, most favored nations, the insurance, the uh, governing law, all those kind of things are, are typically things that a lawyer or a paralegal or business person would want to quickly know. Awesome. Awesome. And then contract compare is basically very similar to what we already talked about before on contract review. Once again, you're reviewing a contract, but the difference is you bring in a second contract so that you can obviously compare the first one to the second one. So that could be because you have a template that you're comparing to a third party contract and you wanna know where those differences are related to these clauses. That's one case. 
it could be that you've got a um, you've got your own contract and you just want to uh, you're getting a newer version of a contract. Right. So let's, let's right, right, right. Purchasing again. Maybe you've got a contract from last year for one of your bigger vendors you're working with. And then you get the new one. You want to make sure they didn't change some of that other language in there. And you don't want to just rubber stamp it and move forward and just look at the pricing information. You want to quickly do that kind of compare. With a tool like this, it can spit it out very quickly and make it useful. Before, great example of compliance. If it's the same vendor you've been working with for over and over, and it looks like it's roughly the same number of pages and not anything changed, some people might have just hurriedly went through that and just looked only at the business terms, right? which could increase risk by doing that. Cool. Good stuff. Same overall process. You just bring in your files. You can drag and drop the files or you can choose the files, however you like to do that. Different people have different methods there. Right. Once again, you select the clauses. The difference is when it comes back, it's going to sh show your first agreement. In this case, it's agreement version 1.0 and, and then version 2.0. Okay. And you can select them or sort them by the clause so you can directly wow. see the comparison between those two. Right. Don't this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. You know, every time I think about AI, I always use the analogy of AI is the Iron Man suit. We still need Tony Stark. We aren't replacing people. We still need the person inside the inside the inside the um, you know the machine. But the machine lets us do things we'd never be able to do as a, as an individual as fast or as uh, accelerated um, as 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 compared to without the machine. So we need the Iron Man suit. So this is awesome. This is an amazing Iron Man suit for a, for a legal department. Well, that's a great analogy. And it made me think of one other thing, William, that I think it is very important since you talked about AI. Um, the What we use in this, because we're using AI and machine language, it's not just looking at the contract and finding a keyword search. That's what a lot of other tools do. Yeah. But sometimes you don't have the exact language. Let's look at the case of governing law. Here's, mm. here's in our sample down here. We have governing law, and you can see quickly that this first document was the state of Wisconsin. The second one is the state of Washington, okay, even though they're on different pages. There's nothing in this clause that says in accordance with the laws of the state of Wisconsin, but it doesn't actually use the term governing uh, law. Got it. Okay? So this is a... You know, a real improvement that we brought using AI. It goes in. We have we have looked at hundreds, close to a thousand contracts, and we tag. This is what you do with AI. You tag that information so that the system learns, learns about right. the whatever phrase or clause in this case you're looking for, and that's how it can be so precise and find the information that you're specifically asking to find related to these clauses. And, you know, we're constantly looking at this. We get input from clients and customers and we'll be adding other clauses over time as well. Well, well Gary, this is awesome. I really appreciate this. Again, I, I try to bring things I get connected with and things I see that where there are value propositions. I try to give them, a, give them an audience, give them a platform to reach uh, our government contracting community and all the facets of our government contracting community. So I really appreciate it. If someone wanted to reach out and talk to you about playing with it, participating, engaging with it, and, and trying it out, how would they do that? Wow, you're a great prompt man. <laughs> <laughs> I love talking to you, William. You've got such a great personality and uh, bring such really good information to your audience. And as a result, my co-founder and I, we've talked about this. We want to reward your listeners to listen to your, that listen to your podcast and all the great information you get. And I know you're always trying to provide added value and we're the same way. We love creating those win-win situation and adding value. So here's what we're going to do for your audience. We're going to offer them a 30 day free trial of what I've been talking about, the legal nice. AI contract nice, review, nice. contract compare capability, uh, no strings um, attached except for two things. All you need to do is request a demo so that you can better understand it because we didn't do the full demo today, but it doesn't take that long. We can do it in 30 minutes or way less than 30 minutes and even answer questions in that time period. Uh, the actual demo could only take about five minutes. It's about, it's more about answering questions. 
And then we'd like for you to agree to be a pilot partner. And all that means is use it within your company and then provide us some feedback. Have a couple of sessions with us to say what you like, where you see opportunities for improvement, um, you know, so that we can continue to, maybe there's additional clauses you'd like for us to really consider that hasn't been there so far out of those 41. So things like that, that's all we really ask. Of course, we would hope that ultimately you would like the product and move forward with it, but you don't have to. There's no credit card required. There's, there's no other restrictions put upon you. And if you want to learn more information, you can go to our website at uh, Core CLM. CLM stands for Contract Lifecycle Management.com. And more importantly, just send us an email to info nice. at coreclm.com. Good stuff. Good stuff. So you're really building a little mini focus group. It's like, let's go use it, play with it. And just tell us what you think. That's amazing. That's amazing. For, all, for no cost. So we want to value the value of the experience and the value of the participation. Those are, that's pretty good. Gary, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, William, once again. For letting me come on, talk to you and your audience today. It's been, a, it's been a pleasure. You have a wonderful weekend. You do the same. All the best. Be well. All right. Goodbye. Bye-bye.